The 2022 housing market has been somewhat of a year of uncertainty. A lot of things have happened. One of those things that have happened is interest rates have rose faster than ever before, which causes a lot of uncertainty for buyers. And you start thinking when interest rates were three, four percent less than 12 months ago is now a good time to buy. And I'm not here to give you a market update. I'm just going to give you the basics as to why it's never a bad time to own an asset. And I'll give you an example with this water bottle. So this water bottle, use it as if it was at home today. If I told you this water bottle right now is worth $2.50, but eight months ago it was worth a dollar, you would be thinking in your head, well, I'll just wait till it goes on sale again. But what if I told you that this water bottle has a higher chance of going to $10 than it does to go to $1? Would you take the risk and say, uh, take the risk and see if I can get it to a dollar? Or would you play smart like most investors and smart people are doing and saying, well, if the odds are greater of it going to $10, then I'll buy it at $2.50. You're going to overpay today sometimes to reap the benefits tomorrow. And this is a perfect representation of the housing market and a stable market. Homes appreciate anywhere between five to 7% in equity. Let's take a $400,000 home. The average consumer moves about every five to seven years. So if I buy a property at $400,000 today and it appreciates 25% in five years, 5% each year, that $400,000 house will have about $100,000 in equity. When I go to sell that house, I'll make an additional $100,000 profit. Now, maybe that house when I bought it, the payment wasn't perfect. Maybe that house when I bought it, it was worth 380 because that's what an appraiser said, and I paid $400,000 for it. And in that moment, it can sound terrible. It can sound like a bad deal, but real estate has made so many millionaires and billionaires due to the fact that homes tend to appreciate year over year. Granted, are there gonna be some down months? Could there be some down years? Yes, but if you're looking at it from an investment standpoint, if you plan on being there for five to seven years, it's like a Coca-Cola stock or a Microsoft stock. Yeah, it may go down month over month. It may go down one year. Look at the chart over a large period of time, it always appreciates. And that's why you want to buy no matter what. Whether interest rates are high, whether prices are high, you always want to buy because you can bank on history. And history has told us that over time, it's always a smart investment to buy that house or buy that asset.